after his death and resurrection, when it was time for Jesus to ascend to heaven, he told his followers to wait for the promise of the Father. With the coming of the Holy Spirit, the lives of individuals were changed. The community itself was transformed. The church was born. At the beginning of the Second Vatican Council, Pope John XXIII led the church in praying for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Renew your wonders in this our day, as by a new Pentecost. A few years later, seemingly as a result of John XXIII's prayer for renewal, a significant event took place that would forever change the lives of millions of Catholics and the Church itself. On a weekend retreat, these Catholic students prayed that, in some way, they too might discover a renewed sense of Pentecost in their lives. I prayed a prayer of complete surrender to the Father, saying, Father, I place my life in your hands, and I desire to follow Jesus, your Son, whatever that means. If it means to suffer, I accept that. Only teach me to love with his love. As I prayed that prayer kneeling, I found myself in the next few moments prostrate, overwhelmed with the sense of God's personal love for me. In the next hour, God sovereignly drew all the students at that retreat house up into the chapel where we knelt before Jesus. They prayed the Veni Creator Spiritus, the very same hymn sung by Pope Leo XIII on January 1st, 1901, asking for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the whole church. Other students, and even their teachers, began to join them, praying that they too might experience this fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And they did. The charismatic renewal continued to spread at an amazing rate throughout the world. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. Let us give Those who prayed for the experience that came to be known as baptism in the Spirit had experiences similar to all the others. A new depth of prayer, love for the scriptures, a devotion to the Eucharist, a heart for evangelization, a call to conversion, and a life of holiness. Many vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life, concerned for the needy. The formation of deeper relationships and even lay communities. Experiencing various spiritual gifts or charisms. Healing. Music. The Holy Spirit of this charismatic renewal has indeed been a source of personal renewal for individuals and an impetus for renewal within the church itself. I began to experience a tremendous joy in my priesthood. I began to have a great compassion for people. I discovered through the charismatic renewal, through the baptism of the Holy Spirit, uh, something deeper than that which I had had previously. And that deeper thing was a new relationship with Jesus Christ. That changed my life. He is very much alive in us. And he wants to talk to us. And he wants to communicate with us. And not only that, he gave us so many gifts through the Holy Spirit. And therefore, he is asking us to use these gifts. And to use these gifts to be like him to continue his work. Now, once you know who you are, therefore you can talk about it with passion. You talk about it with enthusiasm, which literally means enteu, which means to be in God. What was happening among Catholics that got the attention of Cardinal Leon Joseph Sunins, a key architect of the Second Vatican Council. On Pentecost Sunday in 1975, Cardinal Sunins and 10,000 individuals who had this charismatic experience met with Pope Paul VI. We are pleased to see signs of this renewal. This is a day of joy, but also a day of resolve and determination to open ourselves to the Holy Spirit and to proclaim in the Christian authenticity that Jesus is Lord.
long life for the charismatics. Amen. Amen. people may experience the priceless dignity that is theirs in Christ. I ask you and all the members of the charismatic renewal to continue to cry aloud to the world with me. Open the doors to the Redeemer. Thanks to the charismatic movement, many Christians, men and women, youth and adults, have rediscovered Pentecost as a living and present reality in their daily life. I desire that the spirituality of Pentecost be spread in the church. International Catholic Charismatic Renewal Services. ECRIS was approved by the Holy See as a private association of the faithful with a juridical personality. It operates under the direction of the Pontifical Council for the Lady. Its purpose is threefold. Promote the central goals of the Catholic charismatic renewal all over the world. Promote unity among the varied realities and expressions of the Catholic charismatic renewal. As establish dialogue and cordial relationships with other ecclesial movements and communities within the Catholic Church and with other ecclesial communions and Christian churches. In 1998, ECRIS, with other lay movements, helped the Pontifical Council for the Laity organize an international gathering of lay movements. Over 300,000 people gathered. Today, I would like to cry out to all of you gathered here in St. Peter's Square and to all Christians, open yourselves docilely to the gifts of the Spirit accept gratefully and obediently the charisms which the Spirit never ceases to bestow on us. Do not forget that every charism is given for the common good, that is, for the benefit of the whole Church. Though the past century was marked by some of the saddest pages of history, it was at the same time studied with wonderful testimonies of spiritual and charismatic revival all areas of human life and activity. It is my firm hope that the Holy Spirit will find more and more fruitful welcome in the hearts of believers so that the culture of Pentecost, so necessary in our time, can spread. Since 1967, over 120 million Catholics in over 220 countries in the world have experienced this refreshment of the Holy Spirit. The promise Christ gave to his followers, the experience of Pentecost, the lineage of 2,000 years, the open window of Vatican II in the 1960s, are all a part of what the Catholic Charismatic Renewal is today. Like all those who have gone before, the men and women of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal today continue to pray, Come, O Creator Blessed. <laughs>